You shouldn't have to go to the grocery store for veggies for a long time here. We can even pick some peas. You feel like doing that? Oh, okay. There. Oh, yeah. And there's a few over here. Yeah. I brought some walleye. So we have some fish and some peas and some beets. Yeah. Look at that. Watering, then uh, I'm going to fertilize oh, after okay. that. And the fertilizer I use is pretty organic. It's a uh, well, I call it fish juice, but it's just rotten fish. It's, it's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, that breeze feels nice. Okay, this is my cucumber patch. Really what I aim to do is make some pickles. These cucumbers are rocking. My favorite garden day, fertilizing. Get to put the fish juice on and smell it the neighborhood. I definitely have to wait for the neighbors to go inside. Uh, it'll reek for a day and a half or two. For me, I'm used to it, I love it. I'm not sure if I love it enough to have it in my car for three hours like I did today. That was pretty nasty, and that's going to leave a mark, no question. But here's my garden. Let's start with some squash. There's a couple of uh, weeks late on my peppers and my tomatoes. I believe they'll catch up. I planted about over 30 tomato plants, thinking, you know, if half survived, made it through the cut, I would be happy. And 100% survived, along with my pepper plants, same thing. This garden is absolutely magical. Corn. Healthy green beans. After this fertilizing, uh, these green beans should start to produce I want to try pickling, I want to try freezing, maybe canning, then I want to feast for a couple weeks. Tomatoes, excellent. Corn, beautiful. Potatoes. I've been eating collard greens almost nightly. I love collards, they're easy to grow fence worked out like a dream and it's kept the rabbits out there was uh, a little evidence of rabbits taking my green beans and my peas early and no such sign since put up the fence it's pretty bulletproof raccoons another story I don't think I'm gonna win that fight real early on there was a sign of a deer in here I won't win that fight either. Well, maybe I will. stuff. Fish juice as it's also called. Fish emulsion, probably the same thing. I take all my fish remains and maybe some of the rough fish I catch and I let it stew for at least a couple of weeks. It turns into just really a, uh, an emulsion or a concentrate. So what I do is I take a couple scoops depending on much, how much I have and uh, I don't know, just kind of go by feel mostly. We're gonna fertilize, uh, well, as heavy as we can. And then we're gonna be getting close to out. Uh, I have one uh, 
one working right now, but uh, we're going to have to get some more fish. Let's hit the river, I suppose. Okay, fish juice. The neighbors really aren't going to like it too much. It only lasts a day or two, and then it smells like heaven. So let's fertilize. Fertilizer stinks a little bit. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that is super, super concentrated stuff. Whoa. The neighbors might call the fire department. Get this done and get inside and hide. I think we got a pretty nice garden going here, don't you? Oh, I think so. I think it's, you know, really, everything looks so healthy. Yep, and, yep. And, you know, it's just in such a nice variety. I'd say this is a magical garden. It really is just a, a, a wonderful garden, really special. And all the beets. And... Yep, mm-hmm. Last night, it was beet tops, collard greens, and baked walleye is what we had, and that was delicious. So, yeah, you got a good garden here, sir. Well, it's our garden, and I hope you're hungry. <laughs>